Welcome to the Art Lady channel. I have some wonderful friends with me. They are kindergarten art students, and we're learning about the letter W. Oh, wonderful. And actually, wonderful starts with what letter? W. Great. They're here to help us learn about the letter W. And what are we going to be making today? A walrus. Great. We're making Mr. Walrus. But let's first start off and see how to make a W. For some kids that don't know how to make a W, we're going to take our lined paper. And if you make a proper letter W, you first start off with your pencil or pen at the very top of the paper. And on the, you have to touch the what? The line. The line. And I'm going to go down diagonally. So watch how you make a W. Down diagonal, then up again, and then down again, and then back up again. That's the letter W. Great. Let me show you that again. It's a diagonal line down, which is kind of crooked. A diagonal line is not a straight line. And then we go back up back down and it touches the and then it goes up again now is my line is my diagonal crooked no it's a straight line now let's think about the the lowercase w where would I start my lowercase w on this these lines here does anybody know Great, we started at the dotted line. So here we go. Here we go, right down. I start and I go diagonally down, up, down, up. And I do it nice and neat and straight. That way we can see the line. Now, lowercase w, up, down, down, up, down, up. Now we're going to make Mr. Walrus. And we're going to start off Mr. Walrus in the very middle of our page. So we're going to find the middle with our finger. So we measure top, bottom, find the center. Side, side, find the center. Put your finger in the middle. Now Mr. Walrus has a very large what? Tusk. And the tusks are the what? The what letter? W. Right. The tusks. The tusks are the letter W. Are you ready to begin? Yeah. Okay. So here we go. Here's our finger that's in the middle. And look where I'm going to start my letter W. I am going, put your finger in the middle. Now I'm going over. I'm not next to my finger, am I? I'm going up and over, and that's where I'm going to put my dot. Now I'm going to draw a very large W. Watch me first. And I'm going to make it pretty skinny, but really, really long. Down, up, down, up. Capital letter W. Make a very large W in the center of your paper now. Down, up, down, up. W for Mr. Walrus. Now when you hear the bell, I'm, that means I'm gonna do the next step. Here it is. Number one, number one. Put a number one in the middle of the W. Next step, two circles, one on each side. Next step, curve it down, curve it down. And I'm going on the outside. I'm taking my circle, drop it down. And I'm coloring in my circle and connecting it to the edge. Coloring in my circle and connecting it to the edge. That's the not the walrus's eyes. Oh. Nose. The eyes are up higher. 
And what are they called? Nostrils. nostrils. Whoa, great listening. We make lots of nostrils in art because we like to draw faces and animals so they know the nice word, the nostrils. Okay, here we go. Ready? Straight line above, really close to the nostrils now. Straight line. And now we're going to go, look at this line. Artists use their eyes to see and their brains to think. And we look at how something is shaped. So look, here I am at my straight line. We're going to make this line next. Look, down, around, and back to the number one. Does it go past the letter W? Yeah. Yeah, that's how artists think. They think about one thing in relationship to another. Yeah, when I'm making this line now, it's gotta go past my nostrils. So here we go. Watch, watch Miss Belushi. Down and around, past the, not, past the letter W, right to the top of number one. Down and around. It's kinda like a giant letter C. Now somebody tell me, what's going to happen? Can you predict what's happening on this side? What's going to happen? It's going to start from there and then it's going to go And it's going to go past the top of the letter W. Same on the other side. Come around, touch the letter W, and go back up to the top of number one. So now we have this nose area for our walrus. Next line, we're jumping up now and making the top of the head straight line. And I'm, look at the top of my page. I am not touching the top of my page, am I? I'm just going down a little bit. Next step, just to curve it a little bit down. We're not going past these this nose area. Same on the other side, a little bit down. Two small circles, one and two. Color them in, color them in. Now that's the walrus's what? Eye. Good. Now we're doing a curve on top. Touch the eye, curve on top. Touch the top of the eye, curve it down, curve it down, down on each side. Now walruses are quite, would you say, what, what would you say for the size of a walrus? It is quite what? And large and big. So sometimes they have lots of skin that have, what are these called? Wrinkles. Yeah, wrinkles. Let's put those in. A few little wrinkle lines. And I'm going across. Next step, we're going to see this curve here on the head. Find the middle of the curve on the head. And I'm coming down and around. And stop before you get to the teeth. Go down around before you get to the teeth. Stop. One giant regal line. Find where you curve on your wrinkle line. Do it again. Down, and it's a diagonal down. Around. And then skip a space and do another wrinkle line. See how I made it across horizontal? Under his teeth. Now let's find this line. We're coming up. See this little part of the padding around his nose? I'm going next to the tooth, jumping over into this padding, and I'm going to go down. I'm coming past this, see this line here? I'm stopping. And then I'm gonna curve it round and under the line. Round, oops, round and under this line. 
And it's okay if these aren't exactly even because wal walruses are very large. And they're kind of like a blob. So if you're off a little bit, it's okay. You can just add another blob. Next step, come up on this curve and I'm gonna go down, down to the bottom of my page. He's gonna be a very, very large walrus. And you can kind of tell he's a large walrus by the size of his teeth. He's an older, large walrus. What did we not do yet in this nose area? What are we missing? Yes? Yes? Oh yeah, let's put some of those in. Now watch how I do that. We're gonna put about an uneven number, not an even number of dots. Right now I have five. How about six, seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you wanna put five, that's fine, cause that's an uneven number. If you wanna put nine, that's fine, because that is an uneven number. And we're gonna put an uneven number of whiskers. One, two, three. Look how I do the whiskers, I flick them. Watch, watch me. Up, sideways, down and make some real short. Up, sideways, down. Up, sideways, down. Sideways, sideways, sideways. We make a few whiskers. Make them different lengths. You don't make them all really long. Now we're gonna have another wrinkle on this side and then we'll be done our walrus. Here we come out over the here. We're gonna just connect it to the edge of the page. And there is our giant walrus. If you wanna add more little wrinkles, you can. And if you wanna write the word walrus, let's do that. W, since we already know how to make W, up or down rather, down diagonal, up, down, up, W. A, curve round like the letter C, and down, A, L, straight line down, R, straight line down, curve it around, U, straight line down, around, straight line down, S, curve it over, curve it down, around and back up. Walrus. Now we're done our walrus. Let me see if I have somebody who would like to share my friend. Here's a friend. Here's a friend's walrus. And I hope you have fun at home making your walrus.